This short video is meant to be a revision aid for students studying the AS level computing qualification by AQA in the UK. It's going to give you an overview of the fetch, decode and execute cycle using a theoretical model of the CPU. The stored program concept states that a computer will fetch and execute instructions from a computer's main memory and we're going to look at the various stages during this cycle. I'm assuming that the viewer has a, a good understanding of what the CPU is and its general purpose and also um, is aware of the various components within it such as the arithmetic logic unit or different registers such as the program counter etc. Okay to get started the first part of the cycle is the fetch phase. In here essentially what we're trying to do is get the contents from main memory to the CPU. To begin with the program counter contains the address of the next instruction to be fetched from memory. This is copied to the memory address register and now a read cycle will be performed where essentially the, uh, the main memory will be read. Obviously now the program counter could also have been uh, incremented to point to the next instruction to be uh, fetched um, and this could also happen uh, during the, the read operation. So the contents of the main memory are sent to the CPU on the data bus um, and are received in the memory buffer register. In this example, um, the machine code um, represents an add six instruction, um, which is going to add the contents of the accumulator uh, with the value six. That's the fetch phase down. We're now going to move into the um, execute phase by copying the contents of the memory buffer register into the current instruction register. The opcode part of the machine code indicates the actual instruction to be executed, in this case our add. Um, the control unit part of the CPU will have decoded this and will set up all of the various logic gates and pathways etc to perform this operation within the CPU. As we move into the execute phase the operand part of the machine code instruction will be copied to the arithmetic logic unit, to the ALU. And for this instruction we also need the contents of the accumulator. These two items are added together, the instruction is executed and the result of the operation is stored in the accumulator. Also note that the status register which contains various flags to indicate uh, the status of the last instruction that the ALU performed uh, may have some of its flags changed if perhaps the result had been a zero or negative or if there had been an overflow or a carry bit had been set etc. This just shows the um, fetch execute cycle for a simple add instruction. Obviously it would be quite different if we were performing a store or a jump kind of uh, operation. That concludes the fetch execute cycle. Essentially what would happen again now is um, we would go back to the beginning. The program counter is pointing to the next instruction to be fetched and the cycle would be repeated. Thank you.